Hi, welcome to the Games Planner. I'm Jeff the Games Planner, and today I'm Games Planning Era Medieval Age. Era Medieval Age is a two to four player game put out by Eggert Spiel. Uh, late last year, 2019, this in essence is a roll and write, but you're not writing. There are lots of little three dimensional pieces that you'll put onto a pegboard, and I've heard a heck of a lot of people talking about this game in their theory that it's overpriced because it's got all this three dimensional stuff to go onto the pegboard. I actually think that this game needs it. Yes, you could draw the stuff on, but there is a ruling that comes towards the end or that, that tells you when the end of the game is, that when a certain number of pieces have been taken, or should I say, when a certain number of pieces are totally taken, so there may only be one cathedral out if you're playing a two-player game. There may be a three or four of them out. The, or two, I can't remember the exact numbers, but the number of pieces on the table that can be drawn on is different for each player count. If you're just drawing them onto the ta onto your sheet, there is no way of tracking how many of each piece has gone. And I think that's why you'll find that it's not a roll and write, it's a what it is, a, a roll and put pieces in. I'm not even sure what to call that. I really appreciate the game, I really appreciate the way that they've come at this this mechanism. There, there's so many roll and writes around that this is actually vastly different to the other stuff that I've played, simply because of that lack of, of, of pieces. And so you're limited on what can go in, you're limited by the other players at the table. So if they take a whole bunch of something and you can't get any of them, that's going to change how you play. This game is, is good because the different types of building you put in, some of them might give you extra dice, you need to also feed those dice so the dice are kind of like workers. But you need to produce enough food so you can spend all of your time trying to get food in. Or you could create the building that creates more food. Um, things like that are really intricate and thinky for everyone to kind of get their, their head around what's going on. What I've found with this game is that the first player changes and that's absolutely fine. The reason for that first player changing isn't evident until further into the game when you start actually taking the pieces uh, and say there's only one of something left. The first player might be going for that, the second player might also be going for that. If the first player gets it, the second player can't get it. So having that change of who the first player is is really important even though it doesn't actually seem that important at the beginning and because it doesn't seem important at the beginning it can be forgotten about so be really careful of that um look i think that i will leave that leave it there i i really appreciate the game i really like the three-dimensionalness of the game the the tactile nature of the game is really good um look go ahead and watch my games playing games explanation to get a feel for how the game plays and what the rules are if you haven't played before. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you would like to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email to thegamesplanner at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplanner to keep up to date with the games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.